relate again. Uh, just go ahead and show you how you can relate or you can move this particular one out to that point there, how easy it is to uh, move those flanges. And then once we go out and pick, you'll see how now both the top flanges are moving along with that. So just by making that simple move, uh, you can see how Live Rules is picking up um, all this information to change. And again, you can turn off the Live Rules uh, if you do not want uh, that to take place. So next, uh, again, we need to um, run some cutouts. Let's go select these top four mounting holes. Again, you can just do a control T. Grab those uh, four holes. Now you'll see that there's some other holes that are uh, also affected. Just hit your spacebar twice and just go deselect those real quick. And we're just going to pull these down and we're just going to say through to next just to kind of show the different options that we have in the quick bar. Okay. Now at this point we want to add holes for our PIM fasteners. Uh, one of the things that's uh, new inside of uh, Solid Edge uh, ST2 is uh, the addition of PIM fasteners. So we need to add some holes uh, to here. So let's just go in here and grab a particular hole and we're going to select it to be a four millimeter hole and I want to lock it to this particular plane. Now at this point what we want to do is we want to show off how whenever you come close to an edge uh, just hit uh, E on your keyboard and it's going to grab that dimension right there to dimension from that particular edge. Uh, in this one we're going to be 12.72 and hit tab and then we're going to go up uh, to this edge here and hit E to get that particular dimension hit tab and do 5.72 so remember 12 and 5 hit tab and it now places that hole and its dimension comes up to be uh, 14 just change it to 1272 uh, okay. and we told it to go through all so it actually uh, goes through all which is what we want to do and now what we can do is, is tell the system that we want to mirror that particular hole and we want to uh, mirror it about uh, one of the main reference planes and that's the right uh, reference plane and you'll see how uh, you can utilize uh, the, the interface to uh, have what's displayed for you but you can see how quick and easy it is for us to uh, make these changes um, on the fly so basically that completes uh, the, the design of uh, the sheet metal part. If you want to go into a little bit more depth of, of creating some other type of uh, features and stuff, you're more than welcome to. But we want to just this demonstration be quick, fast, and easy, uh, but to show a lot of the power behind synchronous uh, sheet metal. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to show, uh, let's just go ahead and hide the previous level you can turn off clipping if you want and we want to show uh, flat patterning so we come over here to tools flat pattern and grab this top and grab this little edge here and it's going to flatten just right there uh, as you see and then talk about how we display what the blank size is and that we give a uh, call out of what that blank size uh, is as well. 
and at this point uh, this is we just wanted to get a flat pattern uh, of the part very simple you, you can also choose to come in here and show the flat pattern options uh, that are inside of uh, solid edge with the flat pattern treatments and that we can maintain we can say well we need to have uh, a maximum length in the X of maybe 200 and a maximum uh, in the Y of 150 and then do we want some uh, inside or outside uh, corner treatments whether they be a chamfer or or a radius you can put that uh, you can show the users show the uh, prospect uh, that information as well so we'll go ahead and we'll just simply say OK on that. And then whenever you change that, you'll see that the we display what the maximum values are for X and Y, and the user can always go and check that. That is a, a value that is in the uh, variables table, so they can create uh, sensors uh, to also uh, monitor that information as well. So now that we've uh, created the flat pattern real quick, we just want to go back up to the uh, bent uh, part. So at this point, uh, we're still in the sheet metal file, and we want to we want to create a new uh, drawing for this one. And this is where we're going to use that uh, template. So you can simply hit browse. There's a quick sheet template, and there is an EM uh, quick sheet template, which is going to be our electromechanical. Uh, you want to turn off the uh, the run drawing uh, creation wizard and just hit OK. And what you will see is you'll see a uh, flat pattern and also a bent up part. If you want to, you can come over here and you can simply uh, show the users how we can uh, get a shaded view uh, quickly on the screen. And at this point, what we want to do is we want to show off how we can bring in a bend table. And so we want to place the table and we'll get it properties and maybe you get a title. And you can just type in a uh, title, manufacturing uh, bin table, or manufacturing bin information, something simply type it inside of there, and then just grab that particular, and then come in here and show that we have each of the bin orders themselves, and then we have our bin table showing that uh, which feature it is, what its radius is, and what its angle is either up or down from the uh, particular uh, case right there and if you want to at this point you can just uh, show off some maybe some uh, ordinate uh, dimensioning uh, at this point you can show off uh, regular dimensioning uh, in this case you can uh, also show off dimensioning uh, inside of the uh, ISO view itself uh, you can get it overall and hit in on the keyboard to get the different uh, angles different planes uh, at that point you get a dot nice diameter to show that that's what the that distance is there and again it's kind of redundant on this particular part with just to show uh, that we are getting true dimensions uh, inside of here but it, in this case uh, we can show off uh, our dimensioning capabilities inside of uh, solid edge so if you wanted to just the uh, bend uh, points you can simply pull them off uh, with ordinate dimensioning uh, themselves yeah, let's go here and, and that way the ordinate dimension is just showing the uh, the actual bend the bend locations themselves if you wanted to and then you can just show off how you can do some uh, regular dimensioning for the actual uh, flat and as it, as it's applied to this particular part here. So very quickly just easy show uh, some quick dimensions show us quick we want this section to be very quick and easy but show the power behind uh, synchronous technology. So this concludes the sheet metal portion of the electromechanical demonstration at this point in time you can get out go over, back over to the actual assembly itself so you can switch windows go back over to our assembly close and return and we're going to change configurations to uh, add a system